Hey class, and welcome to Lesson 10.4, Multi-Step Measurement Problems. Let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. How can you solve multi-step problems that include measurement conversions? Well, let's get started by taking a look at our word problem. A leaky faucet in Jared's house drips two cups of water each day. After two weeks of dripping, the faucet is fixed. If it dripped the same amount each day, how many quarts of water dripped from Jared's leaky faucet in two weeks? Well, hmm. First of all, let's look at the question that we have to answer. It says, how many quarts of water dripped from Jared's leaky faucet in two weeks? And it's asking for quarts, whereas when it first discussed it, it said two cups. So we know that we're going to have to do some form of conversion. So let's begin with step one. Step one says to record the information you are given. So the faucet drips two cups of water each day. The faucet drips for two weeks. Now let's look at step two. It says to find the total amount of water dripped in two weeks. Well, that's what we have to solve. So since you are given the amount of water dripped each day, which was, of course, the two cups, you must convert two weeks into days and multiply. So let's begin by thinking, well, hmm, how many days are in one week? And we know that there are seven days in one week. So by converting two weeks into days, we know that we have to multiply our two times 14, because there are 14 days in two weeks, equals a total of 28 cups. So that was two cups dripped over the 14 days equals 28 total cups. So the faucet drips 28 cups in two weeks. So then step three is to convert cups to quarts. Well, we have to think. First, there are two cups in a pint, and there are two pints in one quart. So we're going to have to do two steps of conversion. So let's begin over here with blank cups or 28 cups, because that's what comes down to here, equals 14 pints. And we know because we're going from the small to the big that we're going to have to divide. And we divide by our smaller unit of measurement, which is our cups. And there are two cups in one pint, so we are going to divide 28 divided by the two cups in one pint is one, one times two is two, minus zero, bring down our eight, two into eight is four, four times two is eight, minus and that leaves us with zero. So that's where we get our 14 pints. Now we have to do our second step because now we have to take it from pints to quarts. So we have our 14 pints because our 14 comes from up here down to here. And we are going to divide by two pints in one quart. So we take our 14 divided by two because we go divide by our un smallest unit, which is our pints, and we divide because we are going from our smallest to bigger unit. So 14 divided by two equals seven, so that would be seven quarts. So Jared's leaky faucet drips seven quarts of water in two weeks. So let's look down here. What if the faucet dripped for four weeks before it was fixed? How many quarts of water would have leaked? Well, there's a couple of different ways we could do that. We could convert our four weeks into the days and do exactly what we did up here. Or, since we had two weeks here and four weeks in our question down here, we can kind of just double our seven and we know that it would leak 14 quarts in four weeks. Because two is half of four and seven is half of 14. Now, let's take a look at another example. 
In our second example, it says a carton of large grade eight eggs weighs about 1.5 or one and five tenths pounds. If a carton holds a dozen eggs, how many ounces does each egg weigh? So let's start with step one. In ounces, find the weight of a carton of eggs. So let's begin by thinking one pound equals, well, we know that one pound from previous lessons equals 16 ounces. So the weight of a carton in ounces, we take the total pounds, which was one and five tenths pounds, times the 16 ounces. And if we go up here and take 16 times 1.5, we know that six times five is 30, carry three, one times five is five, and six, seven, eight. And we bring down our magic zero, six times one is six, one times one is one, we're going to add these together, and 14, carrier one, that's two. So that's going to give us, now we have to move the decimal place, so we only have one decimal position. So we're only going to come over one decimal position and place our decimal. So we can actually drop this zero, since it is a zero, and we know the carton of eggs weighs about 24 ounces. So now let's look at step two. In ounces, find the weight of each egg in a carton. So we have to think, one carton, which equals a dozen eggs, equals, well, we know that there are 12 in a dozen. So there are 12 eggs in one carton. So the weight of each egg in ounces. So we begin with our total ounces, which was our 24. We just bring it down. The total number of eggs in a carton is 12, so we're going to divide, and 24 divided by 12 equals 2. So each egg weighs about 2 ounces. So let's take a look at our password for tonight's lesson. Okay, tonight's word problem password says, Carmen walked 75 feet from her house to the corner and then four blocks to the library. If each block was 150 feet long, what was the total, total distance that she walked? A, 600 feet, B, 625 feet, C, 675 feet, or D, 750 feet. Be sure you work this out, record your answer and how you worked it out in your math journal and bring it with you to class tomorrow. We'll see you then.